Welcome to We're Reading Virtual Storytime for the week of November 7th, 2021, Part 2. This week's theme is art. Henri's Scissors by Jeanette Winter Matisse got as close as one can get to heaven with a pair of scissors. Romare Bearden in a small weaving town in France, a young boy named Henri-Emile Benoit Matisse watched his mother paint China. He wanted to paint too. He drew pictures in the sand, and he drew pictures in his school books. When Henri was a young man, he drew pictures in his law books and on contracts, deeds, and wills. Henri was sick in bed with appendicitis one winter. His mother gave him a box of paints, and he painted until he was well. He kept on painting, forgot about law, and left his small town to be an artist in Paris. Henri painted pictures day after day and year after year. He was happy, and his paintings made people happy. But when Matisse was an old man, he fell ill. So ill he couldn't paint. So ill he couldn't sit up. So ill he could only lie in bed and sleep. His paintings floated by him in dreams. Matisse finally opened his eyes and they were filled with sadness. Now he must remain in bed or use a wheelchair. Would he ever have the energy to paint again? When Matisse was strong enough to travel, he went to the seaside. The sea air might help get him well. Before long, he sat up. A little later, he drew. Then one day, Matisse picked up a pair of scissors and cut shapes from painted paper. He was drawing with scissors. A pair of scissors is a wonderful instrument. Matisse cut paper all day. My pleasure in cutting things out grows even greater. Why didn't I think of it earlier? His assistants painted paper for him all day. It seems to me that I'm in a second life. Paper cutouts covered his walls. One evening, Matisse lay in bed and drew the faces of his grandchildren on the ceiling with a piece of chalk tied to a long pole. As he fell asleep, they looked down on him and saw his dreams. They saw the shapes that surrounded him in sleep. As time went on, Matisse cut bigger and bigger shapes. They filled his seaside room with color. You see, as I am obliged to remain often in bed, I have made a little garden all around me where I can walk. There are leaves, fruits, a bird. I am deeply contented, happy. Then one night, Matisse walked out into his paper garden and the rainbow of shapes cradled the old artist and carried him into the heavens. Are some of the stars we see at night coming to us from Henri's scissors? Perhaps. Though produced by a very old man who is mortally ill, the cutouts seem to come from the springtime of the world, John Russell. The End we're going to make a construction paper collage inspired by Matisse. Um, your craft to go kit will be um, construction paper in different colors, a rainbow of colors, and also a large piece of construction paper in white. What you'll need is scissors and a glue stick. And it's very simple. All we're going to do is cut different shapes. Um, you can cut more than one together. Um, cut them however you want. Remember, um, Matisse was very abstract. He just kind of did curves and curls and but all you're going to do is go ahead and cut stuff and then glue it onto your paper. So I got three right there and um, they can overlap, collages can overlap. So you can cut out whatever you'd like and um, if you get extra pieces that don't fit on your paper, just go ahead and get another paper and make a second one.
I like the way this looks. I do have a few extra shapes. I can use that on a different collage if I want. But now I'm just gonna use the glue stick to glue everything down. Thank you.